Do you know how a dying dog will say goodbye to his owner for the last time? This dog, Mike, is 15 years old. That's the human equivalent of over 80 years old. He hasn't eaten in days. Perhaps he knows he doesn't have many days left to spare his grandmother's grief. Lately, he's been sneaking out of the house and then digs a hole in a vacant lot. Perhaps he's trying to arrange a place to rest for the rest of his life. Grandma has noticed the unusual change in the dog. She used to prepare some good food and lie on the ground, patiently coaxing the dog to eat, even if it was just a bite. The old man's dedication is obvious to Mike, but his body was too weak to do anything about it. Mike couldn't bear to see his grandmother's disappointment. He went to the beach alone. He stopped under a tree and looked out to sea, perhaps thinking back to the years he spent with his master. The neighbors say, Grandma was a diving enthusiast in her youth. After she retired, she used to take her dog diving in these waters. Whenever she went diving, Mike would wait for his master under the tree, and the little tree grew into a big tree. Year after year, Mike and his grandmother's story continues to grow. Now Grandma and Mike are both old. She hasn't dived again for a long time, but Mike still crouches under the tree and stares at it, because this is the place where he and his grandmother have their best memories. Grandma is worried about the dog's health after a long time without food, so she called the vet to check on Mike. However, the results were not promising. The dog was too old. The dog was too old, and his body functions had deteriorated. The doctor said the dog's days were numbered, but the old man couldn't accept this. At dinner time, Grandma thought of Mike's hungry stomach. She felt very bad. So, at over 80 years old, she made a bold decision, thinking that her dog had loved seafood since he was a baby. The 85-year-old changed into the diving suit she hadn't worn in years. Grandma dived into the sea, with the intention of catching a delicious seafood dinner for Mike. When the dog saw his grandmother return with a full harvest, the joy on his face was overwhelming. It was as if this was a moment. Those days of our youth had come back to haunt us. Grandma brings the carefully prepared seafood to the dog. Mike dragged his weary body over to the dog. He knew he couldn't let his grandmother down, but when he barely managed to pick up a piece of meat, it fell to the ground. It turned out that he couldn't eat anymore. Mike looks at the old man with a look in his eyes, as if to express his heartfelt apologies. The grandmother holds the dog in her arms. The years they had spent together had made them feel like family. The fond memories of the past were written into each other's lives. The neighbors had all watched Mike grow up. When they found out about the dog's condition, they all came to comfort the old man. Grandma said, the dog has brought her a lot of comfort over the years. She had grown accustomed to Mike's presence. If he were to pass away, I don't know how she would cope with the rest of her life. The next day, grandmother freshened up early. She hired a photographer to capture her and Mike's last moments. Perhaps it was to make her happy. The dog had a smile on his face that he hadn't seen in a long time. It was as if he wanted to give his grandmother his best shot. At this moment in time, it's like the summer they met again. The good days are always fleeting. The dog looks up to the sky, as if sensing the approach of parting. He walked out of the house without looking back. But this time, he never came back. 